Now over the past few months, UCLA has become one of the most controversial colleges in the entire world. But even though this place has been ranked on the same level as Duke, Northwestern, and Columbia over the past few years, everything we know and love about UCLA has gone completely down the drain. You see, over the past few days, news anchors have been flocking to campus to cover the craziest protest the college campus has ever seen. And on top of the school already facing a ton of different allegations, a couple of admission scandals, students getting arrested, and the campus being forced to literally shut down to keep the students safe, it seems like all the hype around going to UCLA might be starting to slip away real fast. But despite having a rough few months in the media, UCLA still holds the title as the top public school in the country and boasts a whopping 11% acceptance rate. So in order to find out just how prestigious this place really is, we're out here in Los Angeles to do one thing and one thing only. Ask the students how the hell they got in here. So first question, starting off easy here. What is your name? Where are you from? And what are you studying here at UCLA? My name is Bebe. Amir. Charlotte. Jacob. My name is Jordan King. My name is Addison. My full name is Olua Femi Oladejo from Sacramento, California. Lancaster, California. Orlando, Florida. Atlanta, Georgia. I'm from the Bay Area. Bay Area. Bay Area. I'm from the Bay Area, Palo Alto specifically. And I'm studying computational and systems biology. Public affairs and architectural studies. Linguistics and computer science. Data theory. More like mathematics, machine learning, that sort of thing. I'm studying African American studies. Business economics. Chemical engineering. I'm studying communications with a computing specialization and film philosophy and digital humanities minors. <laughs> oh, wow. Holy shit. Okay. Good for you guys. And was UCLA your first choice of a college? Um, yeah. 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 Yeah, we'll go with that. No, it wasn't. No, but it was pretty high up there. No, it was not. I actually transferred here from uh, UC Berkeley. Really? Interesting, okay. It wasn't my first choice, but it was definitely up there. I think I was kind of deciding between different options that were like very different, like East Coast versus West Coast. I got into like Berkeley, UF, um, UNT Chapel Hill, Georgia Tech, Northeastern. I would say some of the Ivy League schools. Stanford, of course, it was close to home. I really wanted to go to Stanford because it's nearby home, but didn't get in there, but no, MIT. Am I? Wow, okay. <laughs> it was my first choice in college, yeah. Yes, it was. Yeah, it was. Yes, it was. Yes. Yeah, for sure. Hands down. Absolutely. I feel like there's nothing like this place. The energy, the people here, the resources, there's just nothing like it. I've been always wanting to go to UCLA, so super happy to be here. I chose UCLA just because, like, I feel like the work-life balance here is better. And just experiencing the like, Cali, I think it's, like, definitely very unique for sure. You can't beat this place. The weather, the culture, it's amazing. When I got in here, I was pretty sure that this was the place I wanted to be. Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. And you made it here now, and yeah, that's what I'm matters. Sorry. And now moving into the more like fun questions here. Yes, yes! Let's go! <laughs> Let's do it! What is the weirdest interaction you've had with another UCLA student? The weirdest interaction? Sheesh, I don't know. Weirdest interaction I've had? Tricky, wait, give me a second yeah. to think about this. That's what I gotta think about. Weirdest interaction? I've had a few. I mean, there's been a lot of weird ones. Between walking in and like my roommate having sex to like fucking... I don't know if they were a UCLA student, but it was literally on Bruin Walk. And this guy stops me, he asks, he's like, oh, like, where is the library? And like, as I'm pointing to where the library was this dude put shampoo in his hair i mean there's like usually this like carrot guy that goes along brune walk he wears like a carrot costume and he carries like carrots around him and he gives carrots to students like somebody dressed in like the plant suit and hiding in a bush and jumping out at people we've gotten the plant guy today and a carrot guys we're checking all the boxes and it's like oh like and it's like starts like actually like washing his hair while like he's talking to me and he's like oh like can you help me out and he hands me his water bottle and he has me pour it on his head like in the middle of brune walk it just has me pouring water on his head. I even took out my own water bottle because like, bro, I'm not gonna just let you sit over here with, with shampoo, so I'm pouring more. He just was just like, all right, cool, like, thank you, and then walked off. Didn't tell me his name or anything, and I was just like, wow, like, that's crazy. Wow. Yeah, that definitely tops our list today, for sure. That That's something. What is the most bizarre, rich thing you've seen another UCLA student do? Bizarre, rich thing? Um, yeah, my friend, um, he bought a yacht. He bought a yacht? Yes. What? Care to elaborate? I just heard a story about how someone's roommate's parents accidentally transferred them $40,000 instead of $400 and didn't notice. And so they just have $40,000. I seen an international student like pull up, um, just pull up in like a Ferrari and I was just like, damn, they got it like that. I was like, I was like, okay, all right. Yeah, I was just pull up with the nice whips, the parents' money, you know. Uh. <laughs> we have some famous students and so they have like lots of industry events and I know for one of my friends, we had a car service company us up so like a chauffeur came and picked us up at my dorm and took us to Disneyland for free so that was pretty fun wow that's awesome well he bought a yacht in a Technomar 63 a Technomar 63 is a Lamborghini boat holy shit and he goes here yeah 
Wow, well, I think that's safe to say that definitely tops our list today for sure. And now getting into the more academic questions here, what do you think is the number one study tip that helped you get into UCLA? That's a good question. Um, oh, this is tough to be honest because I'm not really a good studier. Getting into UCLA is like no small feat. I think for me, being part of leadership, it's not necessarily a study tip, but I do think that like that's a really important thing. I think I really prioritized making sure my GPA was high because I know UCLA really prioritizes GPA. Usually like after like class, and all that, I'd always like go over my notes again. Probably explaining things to others, continually doing that and trying to make it simpler. Be friends with someone like that guy. <laughs> Dude, oh my gosh, he saved my life. I think it's just to stay on top of your work, not procrastinate. Being on top of time management because college applications are so much work. Really what helped me was just staying on top of things and trying not to like let procrastination get the best of me. I think just taking time to get to a uh, quiet place. You can't be around everybody. You know you gotta find your quiet space, get the lo-fi music going and study. That's all you gotta do, just study. Yeah, just, study. just study. That's the key right there, yeah. <laughs> so obviously, you got into UCLA, which means you had some pretty decent high school stats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, you know, yeah. <laughs> so, what was your GPA, your test scores, and were you in any extracurriculars in high school? Well, to give context, I did 22 APs in high school, and then on top of that, I did 14 college classes on top of, like, the 22 APs. Holy <laughs> shit! Damn, dude, that's yeah. crazy! So, my GPA was a 4.0, unweighted. 4.0. 4.0? 4 I'm pretty sure, yeah. My GPA was around 4.0. Three or something weighted. 4.3, 4.67. I had a 5.446. I actually like graduated like top 1% of my class. So I like, I was ranked one. <laughs> oh my, dude, you are checking all the boxes out here. That's yeah. crazy. My SAT score was 1540, super score. I think on the SAT, I got like a 1510. A 1510. 1580. I got a 1550 on my SAT. SAT was like 1100. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't do that good on the SAT. I didn't take the SAT or the ACT because like my year was the year that they kind of were just like, yeah, you guys don't have to do that. That was COVID year. I got in during COVID, so I didn't have any scores. I didn't have to take any tests, which was, you know, praise God. Uh, <laughs> my extracurriculars, I played tennis. I was a captain of the tennis team. I did like a little not-for-profit on the side of one of my friends over COVID. I was pretty involved in robotics. We had like a school leadership team. I did a lot of things with like legislation, working for local politicians, stuff like that inside and outside of school. I was president of a law club and a bullet journaling club. I was an ASB, link crew, varsity basketball for four years. Still not that play football, so. Football? Yeah. What position? Linebacker. Lock Whoa. Okay, okay, nice. I was actually on the football and basketball team, the military school and the school I went to in Arizona called Perry. That's where Brock Purdy was at. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Uh, did you ever meet him? I was on the team. With Brock Purdy? Yeah, and Perry High. No way, dude. That is sick. I make music too. You make music too? I'm with a celebrity right now. There we go. We really want passionate people, so I would say you should do things that you're passionate in. Just anything to show like who you are, your person, and why you need to be at UCLA. You should work with UCLA. You have it. You do. Yeah, um, I'm a campus tour guide, so I work for undergraduate admissions. Oh my gosh! Well, that's why you're so well spoken. I get it now. That's awesome. And I have one final question for you here. The question everybody's been waiting for. What is the craziest scandal you've heard while you've been at UCLA? Ooh, scandal. Oh, the craziest. <sighs> Biggest scandal. Yeah, someone ate poop for two hundred dollars. What? Ate poop. Yes. They ate poop for two hundred dollars. What the hell? Got to those protests encampments. I think the whole protest stuff is really crazy to even think about. And then also the undie run. I, I haven't participated. But that's just that's <laughs> disgusting. That's not right. My freshman year, I was in line for food, and this couple that like lived on the second floor, they had to be aware that their window is like wide open, and they were doing like a little bit more than banging. It was very romantic and very awkward, and the entire school like that was waiting in line could see them clearly. I walk into the lounge. Yeah, there's there's a couple in there, you know, doing their little thing. But I heard someone pooped in the shower at one of the dorms and it got shut down for like a week for cleaning. And that's like, I don't even know why you would do that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, definitely tops the list today for sure. We had to be smart out here. We are here doing the wrong things. God is my, my shepherd. Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Uh, but yeah, man, y'all know what it is. Amen, dude. Yeah. Amen. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, oh. Okay. And then we gotta come there, here. We go. Here. there we go. There we go. Hey, yes.